Hey everyone, thanks for joining in today. I'm Dylan from Rock and Reel Nation and uh, here we are already. The season just flew by. Our uh, regular archery season here in PA has uh, gone already. So uh, in today's video, I'm gonna be taking you guys back uh, a day and a half to prior to the end of the season. And I got a video for you guys, just a video of uh, a doe I was able to harvest. So, you know, we're about two weeks away here from the rifle season. A lot of the guys have tags left. So uh, hopefully we have some more videos coming for you guys. If you guys can, please check us out on Facebook and Instagram, and uh, remember to just uh, comment for us, tell us what you think, and I uh, just want to thank all you guys for watching and sticking along with us, and uh, wish you guys the best of luck the rest of the season. Thanks for watching. Well guys, here we are. We got uh, two days, well, one full day and one evening here left in the regular archery season here in PA. On the way in here, I just, uh, I seen four doe. They were bedded here only maybe 20 yards from the stand, so I uh, would like to try and fill a doe tag tonight. I do not have a buck tag. I uh, I killed a buck doe in the same spot about two weeks ago, and uh been seeing a bunch of deer in here lately. Just really haven't had uh, any clear shots or the right opportunity with the uh, camera and stuff, so we're going to sit tight tonight. It's only about 28, 29 degrees right now. The... Uh, the wind is blowing about 20 mile an hour, but I still think it's going to be good tonight. This cold weather should have the deer up and moving and uh, hopefully hitting the cornfield. So stay tuned with us, guys. Thanks for watching. Massive cut on contact tip. The drive key technology activates the rear blade deployment system and explodes into a large fixed blade cutting machine that has no match. Afflictor hybrid broadheads. Brush deer dope on the bottom of your boots for an instant scent drag. Brush deer dope on trees and twigs for scent hot spots that last your whole hunt. Ever scent deer dope? I don't go hunting without it. Well, guys, as you could see there, we uh, we just uh, took a big doe. She come in and. Uh, she came into my shooting lane and I actually I moved when I shouldn't have and she did catch my movement but luckily she didn't bust me there as you can see she did she did drop when I shot her but uh she did get up and run but uh I heard her crash over the hill so we're gonna get on this blood trail and see what we can find I'm th almost 100% sure she's just laying right over the hill here so should be good uh 
this just goes to show you guys why you got to stay in the stand if we had 20 30 mile per hour wind gusts here this evening and we had a good amount of deer coming through it was a good good night to be in the woods nice and cold 25 degrees but uh we're gonna go and check out uh what we got going here and see if we can get on a blood trail and follow her stay tuned well guys we just found our first uh spot of blood here only about 10 yards from where I originally shot her so Well guys, I found her. She only made it about 30 yards, 30, 35 yards over the hill. Perfect, uh, good exit wound there. Well guys, here you can see, here's my deer. Uh, filled my doe tag here for this wildlife management unit. It was a good night in the stand, seen lots of deer, lots of movement. Um, the afflictor really did its job here. I think she was just about right underneath me and uh, I hit her high and I think I, I think I hit her on the spine. The entrance uh, wound is on the underneath side here. I think I hit her, caught her spine and uh, we got a good, really good exit hole here. Perfect. Uh, but just a good night to be in the stand I, about time it was a pretty rough year uh, up until the past couple weeks it was a rather warm rather warm fall so but the deer have been moving really good here the past weekend the rut's in full swing so tomorrow night I'm going to try and bring my uh, cousin back in here probably about 200 yards off the ridge and hopefully we can get something done there as well and uh, I'm going to get a tag on her I'm going to get her out of here got a lot of work ahead of Got a lot of work ahead of me tonight, so uh, thanks for watching, everyone. If you guys want, be sure to subscribe, comment, tell us what you think. And also, remember, guys, you can check us out on uh, Facebook and Instagram as well to see uh, more things of what we do that we don't always get uh, videos of. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I wish you guys the best of luck the rest of the season. Remember to always stay safe.